Hi, my name is Yasu um, uh, from Axel Space, uh, based in Tokyo, uh, Japan. I'm really disappointed that I couldn't make it to uh, Switzerland. Uh, um, I was already ready to get on the flight to Zurich, uh, but at the last minute, uh, uh, I was not able to go. So I'm very happy to share with you uh, that uh, we are based in Tokyo and uh, powered by uh, more than 50% um, of our engineers from overseas, um, uh, including uh, many of them from Europe. Uh, we design and build and operate a micro satellite and using our satellite, uh, we cover the earth um, on a uh, high frequent basis at 2.5 meter uh, ground resolution. So we have a multiple of these uh, satellites already in orbit. And because we have a multiple of these satellites, uh, we are able to have a high frequent uh, vis revisit of um, the same place. Um, and Currently, uh, we are able to revisit in, in, in the same area um, at the maximum of uh, three days, uh, sometimes even uh, one day. And uh, this, this uh, high frequency will continue to increase as we uh, increase the number of satellites in the orbit. Very happy to share that these satellites are operational and commercial already and we have been providing data to our global customers uh, for, for example, uh, agricultural customers to help them uh, clarify and verify uh, their activities using our sensors so that maybe they can have a better understanding of when to harvest. Or we are delivering our data to some of our um, customers who might be interested in economic data, uh, including the data from the ports around the world, so that they can uh, create maybe a new index to understand what's happening around the world. So Axospace, using the power of satellite, we monitor uh, the entire world at 2.5 meter resolution in high frequency. Now, I like to focus today on what we do uh, for uh, SDGs. Uh, so we monitor the planet uh, on, on a very free, high frequent basis and accumulate these data to make analysis so that we can provide actionable data and insights to contribute to the uh, United Nations Sustainable uh, Goals, the 17 goals. And there are many things that we can uh, contribute, uh, but today out of the 17, I like to focus on these uh, seven goals. Um, and starting uh, first with the smart agriculture initiatives that we're doing. So obviously it's very important uh, to contribute in the uh, poverty and uh, hunger issue around the world. Um, and we believe that our satellite data can do this by providing a actionable data for the farmers to make a more informed decisions. So for example, using our satellite imagery data like this, we can do some analysis and highlight, highlight the areas um, where it's harvest ready. I'm not going to go into technical details today, but just to highlight, wherever the, uh, it's showing uh, orange, it means that uh, it's ready to harvest. So, so the darker orange it is, it is ready to harvest and the lighter the color is, it's not yet ready. We also like to contribute to the urban planning uh, around the world. And one example we'd like to share here is, um, some of the countries around the world, they don't even have a uh, proper map. So using the satellite imagery, we can um, uh, use the power of uh, computer analysis to pick up where the roads are. 
And if you can pick up the, where the rows are, then you can extrapolate and create a very simple map. Of course, these maps will be very simple, um, highlighting where the rows are. But for some of these developing countries, uh, these simple maps can even uh, go a long way because right now they have zero maps. Now, the other um, initiatives that we are very passionate about is to create a, to create a sustainable cities uh, using our satellite imagery data. So this is the image uh, from Tokyo. And as you probably imagine, it's a very dense city. However, uh, if we highlight where the vegetations are, where the greeneries are, you actually notice that Tokyo, uh, it is actually uh, dense, but at the same time, uh, there are some pockets of greenery. Of course, the central part where there's white uh, area, it means that there's no greenery. But uh, on the outskirts, uh, you can see that there's actually some greenery. Now, by having this kind of uh, visualized uh, data to really see how green or not green your cities are, uh, you can, uh, if you're the urban uh, planner or the uh, city government, uh, you can make sure to manage your greenery and um, implement some greenery where you think uh, is missing by having data like this. And <clears throat> as a country uh, that has a lot of forestry, uh, we also work on the uh, forestry management using satellite imagery data. So for example, uh, using a, a forest imagery like this, we can convert into something like this. Now this uh, highlights where the vegetations are active and not so active. Now the coloring uh, is done so that wherever there's green, it means the vegetation is active and whenever there's less green or red, uh, it means that the vegetations are weak. Now this uh, has a, a stark contrast where there's lots of uh, human activities. Uh, <clears throat> it seems to correlate with the uh, weakness in the vegetation. Now, converting images like this into this helps uh, us to visualize and clarify and create an actionable data to mitigate the uh, deterioration in the uh, healthiness of the forest. So Axel Space, we really want to work with all of you to help create a climate for change so that we can take action using satellite imagery data to change the dynamics of our uh, ever-changing uh, climate. And just to recap, we want to provide uh, satellite imagery data on a high frequent basis and accumulate those data to analyze them and provide actionable data and insights for SDGs. My name is Yafu uh, from Axel Space. I'm very happy to take some questions now. Does anyone have any questions to ask Yazu? Yeah, let me bring you quickly the microphone. Hi, I'm Daniel um, from uh, LiveView. I have a question. Um, how do you differentiate, uh, for example, against companies like Planet, which have way more satellites in orbit um, and um, also great uh, interface for, for accessing the data? Sure. Um, Actually, uh, Planet is a great um, uh, inspiration for us. And uh, just to the short answer is we don't we don't focus on differentiating with um, Planet, but really focus on uh, trying to create um, value for our customers. So, um, I, I guess um, uh, one of our uh, one of the advantage of working uh, with us is that uh, we, we really try to focus on uh, customization. So we try to cater to um, the needs of the specific client uh, rather than uh, uh, selling a packaged uh, product. 
Thank you.